I am Giovanna La Beja. I am Egypt La Beja, overall godmother of the Royal House of La Beja. Hi, my name is Darius, also known as Zenith La Beja. I am the overall prince of the House of La Beja. This is your queen, international mother of the Royal House of La Beja, and we are La Beja. Crystal La Beja is, she's the mother to all ballroom. Runner-up in the 1967 Nationals, Miss Crystal, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for her. The third runner-up in the 1967 Nationals. Crystal La Beja's name should be left for the future generations to come and see what a strong, powerful woman, trans woman of color that she was that paved the way to be where we are today. Beja. Beja. Crystal is the mother of the house. I brought the beauty, the grace, the elegance, and the opulence. Because without Crystal, darling, there would have been none of that. Those iconic lines, honestly, the birth of all ballroom. Crystal La Beja was and is the mother among mothers, the pioneer among pioneers. Were it not for her and her iconic stand during the Queen documentary, we would not exist being the House of La Beja, and Ballroom would not be here today. It was at the beginning of the Civil Rights Movement. So when she said, I have the right to show my color, when she st after storming off the stage of a pageant that's known to reward the white queens, and it was based off of European standards of beauty, it was, it was her declaring that I'm, I'm beautiful just the way I am. Uh, we were already considered an ostracized community. The cast outs of the cast outs, not only be gay, but to be trans. That was against the law. And so being trans was a protest. And in that protest, she made a safe space for ballroom. So it was a way to say that we're here and we're gonna make sure that anyone that's like that, uh, that fits in this category, can be safe too, because we deserve to be safe. Why not have a monument of someone who actually started a movement that became a culture within itself? Crystal LaBeja was an icon in the ballroom scene, but it all started from pageants. Crystal came from the pageant system where she was discriminated against because of the color of her skin. So her, Lottie, and Pepper decided to throw pageants and it became a underground phenomenon for trans people of color. We're doing a Crystal LaBeja monument to bring recognition to the founder of Ballroom. Predating Stonewall, there was Ballroom. Crystal LaBeja was already prominently traveling and performing and competing in pageants. It's necessary for the kids of the next generation and for just pe people my age to know the importance of our, our sheroes and the people that we looked up to. The monument is important because for one, it signifies and represents Crystal LaBeige's legacy. She paved the way for so many people of color, for trans women, for the whole LGBTQIA plus community. It created a safe space. Ballroom and house culture is a pillar in the history of black culture and New York City history. And this is the first time that we're gonna get a major pioneer to be represented in history as she should be. Before Marsha, before Stonewall, there was Crystal and the House of La Beja, and that deserves to be remembered. Memorializing the Crystal La Beja monument um, will hopefully inspire the next generation to jump into the artistry and feel free to be who they are and be confident and understand that they can leave behind a legacy um, just as much as Crystal La Beja. I say I want to join the House of La Beja. It's Do I get in? It used to be easy. To know more about the House of La Beja and the history of ballroom, you can always go to www.royalhouseoflabeja.com. 54 years and still going. I am joined by Crystal.